Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading doing the nightly market update for Wednesday, June the 30th, last day of June and last uh, day for the six months of the year. And that's important because of portfolio rebalancing and that type of thing that goes on at the end of quarters and the end of the month. And especially this is halfway through. We're six months into the year. So um, important stuff right going on and as you can see here this is the ES and as you can see uh, we had this is overnight light gray is overnight this is the ES not the SPX um, and so we chopped around last night and then I don't know what caused this big flush all the way down here that was a let's see almost 30 point drop basically straight down and then hit the bottom uh, and actually let me show you this we have a little voodoo skyline right there that we came into we didn't actually touch it but we got really really close that's close enough um, to call it a hit and uh, especially on a one day chart but anyway uh, bounced back up and since then you know just straight up into the close here and this was kind of interesting this big run into the close and that is all of the uh, end of the month kind of rebalancing shenanigans that go on um, and I'll zoom this in a little bit closer and you'll see what I'm talking about here it doesn't look too crazy until you look at this and let me do it a little bit closer and you see that this is you know it starts back here you know flush down bounce flush down look at these bar these candles straight up flush down straight up flush down straight up flush down straight up flush down straight up um, lots going on on both sides here as people are squaring up positions into the close um, we're in some crazy times as you know if you've been watching this at all uh, let me show you what a 10-day chart is here of course we hit a new all-time high today um, 42.94 in the ES and SPX was 03 I believe 02 4302 43 so another new all-time high we hit just you know this we've had five days in a row off this low 4164 you know straight up and another new all-time high here and let me go back 20 days and this kind of puts everything in perspective this is when the fed came out and said um we may have to do some rate hikes and you know the market just took it right on the chin and then we immediately bounced up just buy the dip buy the dip buy all things buy 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 and we know it's just been crazy. Now that we know that'll end at some point. Um, don't know when, but we are. Let me show you this one year chart. And again, kind of put it in perspective. We look at this, this chart still looks bullish. All the moving averages are on our side. Everything still looks great to continue higher. We do have a snow line up there at 4351. And we've got some extensions at 4350. We've got some smaller time frame ones between here and there. But um, I guess that's the bigger, bigger ones. So we may just keep going. Uh, this 4,300 level has been a pretty big level, a big magnet to get to if we can get through it. And I guess kind of technically we did today, but it was, uh, I'd like to see it, you know, be a little more through that to call it a, you know, call it through. But we'll, we'll know tomorrow. Um, and also tomorrow is the first day of July and um you know, it's not going to surprise me if we actually pull back a little bit tomorrow. Um, and then don't forget, we have payrolls on Friday, which are going to be a big, big deal uh, on Friday. It gives the pulse of the economy and employment and all that kind of stuff to signal the Fed on what they need to do. So, um, you know, we could get some big swings. It wouldn't surprise me if you sell off tomorrow and then bounce on Friday on, you know, good payroll numbers. But, you know, we'll see. Um, again, you know, just we got to be careful with this. Um, with this market because we're once again you know we're pushing all-time highs here we're you know three ATR on the we're almost three on the ES we're about three on the uh, NQ here so we're definitely extended look off this tree line here I mean that's a long shot and you know this was a long shot here right so do does this keep going like that at some point this is how it ends we know that you know is it in here or is it in from you know from higher levels or you know does it uh, do one of these kind of things and just kind of chop around and start working its way back up and, you know that's the big question nobody knows but um, 
I'm much more guarded now, um, you know, in sizing smaller and, you know, just trying to be a little more careful. I'm always careful, but, um, but I'm aware that kind of where we are in relation to, um, peaks, you know, so keep that in mind. I did want to show you guys a trade real quick. i um, just going to show you real quick. Um, this is Wynn, the casino, Wynn Resorts Casino Company. Um, I was looking at, I was reading some stuff and it was talking about how um, travel to Las Vegas is really picked up. This is going to be a huge weekend for them, 4th of July weekend. They're expecting, you know, huge, huge crowds and all that kind of stuff, which is going to be very positive for the stock. Um, and we have hit and held off of the skyline four times now. One, two, three, four. It's counter trend trade because this chart actually looks kind of bearish, you know. So I size this thing small for a possible bounce to come back up here and follow this same pattern down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? Would make sense, right? So I set up a little butterfly here. I went to 23 July to be ahead of earnings and I did a one, this is odd strikes. So I did 124, 130, 136. I widened it out a little bit um, for about a buck. So if you're interested in that, um, take a look at that tomorrow. I posted this for five contracts. It's only $500 of risk. And I'm targeting the 131 area here. If we end up here at the end of the trade, it's worth about, about 2,000 bucks, 1,900, 2,000 bucks, something like that. You know, if everything went completely perfect and we know trades never work perfect, but that's, that gives you an idea. It's a good risk reward. Um, so take a look at that. Uh, be careful on your sizing because again, this is a, you know, this is where we, you know, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, this could break. And if it does, you don't want to have too much at risk or you want to, even if you do, you could put a lot at risk. You just want to pull the plug if it breaks and goes south. Right. So anyway, I did want to share a trade with you guys. Um, so be careful. Watch the next couple of days it can be very interesting and uh, we'll see what we get. So I hope that was helpful, and um, I will see you guys at the next update. Thanks. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.